So I'm going to show you how to make instructional videos with Screencast-O-Matic. And for this example, let's just say that I want to make a short video explaining a couple of slides from a keynote or a PowerPoint presentation to my students. Screencast-O-Matic is a screen recorder essentially, so you can use it to record just about anything that you can show on your screen. Um, but I wanted to use an example that's pretty common. So to access Screencast-O-Matic, I'm going to pull up Chrome. Just go to screencastomatic.com. You can create an account. However, it's optional. It does give you a few extra features. But I'm just going to come down here and tap on Start Recording for free. This next screen, we want to tap Launch Free Recorder. And you may have to give it a few permissions. I'm going to say open. Now the recorder might not bring you to the screen that you want to start on and that's okay. You can always switch that once you start recording. And don't worry, you can edit out that part. So we're gonna take a look at adjusting a few of these settings here. You have some options here for recording your full screen or if you wanted to change that and only get a portion of your screen, I would come here and click 720p, so it's a little bit higher definition. You can move this frame around, and that's the part within the dashed line there is what you'll be capturing. But if I wanted to just capture this part here where it says measuring pitch, I might come down here and drag these corners to resize, just like you would resize an image. Let go. And if I recorded here, it would just record in that box. You also have some other options. I'm going to switch this back though before I show you those to get the full screen so you get a better idea of what I'm doing. And you can see here, you can record with your webcam if you wish, or you can do both. And that'll give you that picture-in-picture -picture effect that we have down here. But again, I want you to see the whole screen, so I'm gonna go ahead and switch back to screen. For narration, you can turn up your microphone. So when you're ready to go, go ahead and click on record. It's gonna count you in, three, two, one, and now it's recording live. So I'm gonna switch my screen back to that keynote. And it's recording my screen as is. So let's bring this to presentation mode. And I can talk, move my cursor around all I want to. I can switch slides, etc. So it's really just recording everything that's on my slide. And now remember, this is a screen recorder, so I was using this within a program. Um, like Keynote, you could use it with, let's say, your web browser and use it maybe to show people how to use your LMS. Or maybe I want to use a spreadsheet and teach a lesson in there. So there's really a lot of options here. Now when you're done, you'll need to navigate back to the page that you started on and you'll see that your counter is counting up here for what you've been recording. I'm gonna go ahead and tap pause. I can play this back right here if I want to. But for the sake of time, I'm not going to do that. If you don't like what you recorded, just trash it with the trash can here. I'm gonna tap on done. That's gonna ask me what I want to do next. If I'm pretty confident with this, I can just save it. Um, but what I'll do here is to show you some of these edit features. They're pretty basic. I don't want to upgrade. I like the free version just fine. So I'll close that out. And here, I'll hit play. And it's recording my screen as is. So let's bring this to presentation mode. So you can see it's recorded it already. But if I want to cut out the beginning or ends, I can trim my video with these handles here. So let's say I wanted to show my students just that PowerPoint part. I'm just going to forward this to the point where it's in presentation mode. So I've got my playhead positioned where I start my presentation. I'm going to click and drag this handle over. And we'll start our video there. And I can talk, move my cursor around all. And you'll see it's got this halo around my cursor, which is really helpful for students to see. So what I want to do is do the same thing at the end. Let's say all I wanted was to show them these two slides. Right about there is good enough. I'll grab this handle, drag it over. And now I have my video that I want to share and with I students. Can talk move my cursor around all I want. So now that I'm happy with the section that I've cut out, I've got a few options over here. I can 
upload to Screencast-O-Matic if I've made an account. Free accounts are pretty limited. You can upload directly to YouTube if you put in your information for your YouTube channel if you have one. Uh, my choice is to just go ahead and save this as a video file and that will save it to my computer. There will be a watermark on your video. That doesn't bother me in the least. I'm going to just ignore that pop-up. Most of the default settings here are going to work just fine for you. Um, I am going to change the file name so it's something I can recognize. You can choose your folder on your computer that it's going to save to. Let's say I want to do mine for downloads. You can change your cursor so that it doesn't show at all or so that it shows just the cursor without that halo around it. I like leaving it on though. So when I'm satisfied with this, I'll tap publish. And that saves my file. So I can access it from my hard drive, or I can just play it from here to preview it again. And I can talk, move my cursor, and that's it, I've got a completed video. And sure enough, if I come to my downloads folder, you'll see the video is there. I can open it, just to make sure all I want to. So we're good. And that's it. Be sure to check out edtechpicks.org for more tech tips, tricks, and tutorials for busy teachers.